All right, so you tried this practice AP question. Let's see how you did. So here are the correct answers, seven joules plus and minus 1.75 meters and 1.6 meters per second squared. So they gave us a potential energy function and they gave us some information about a specific point, namely the mass and velocity, or speed I guess, at a specific point. What's helpful there is the total mechanical energy is the combination of the potential and the kinetic. So I have a potential energy function and I know the position and I know the speed at that position. So I can find the kinetic energy at that position, the potential energy at that position, and then add those together to get a total of seven joules. Meaning, if I graph this potential energy function, it looks like a parabola. So at zero, it's gonna have zero potential, or zero potential energy, all kinetic energy, but it's going to be bound at this seven joule mark. Meaning that kinetic energy is gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller until it reaches this point when it's zero and it's all potential energy. That's the condition we're looking for in part B. It wants to know, well, what are these X bounds for this seven joules? Okay, so in that scenario, there's, we're at the point where kinetic energy is zero. We solve for X and we get the plus or minus 1.75. D is asking for the acceleration um, at a specific point. So we take our potential energy function, we take the negative derivative to get our force function. The sum of the forces is gonna equal ma, so we have our negative 8x equals 3a. We plug in our x value of 0.6, as they said, and we get an acceleration of negative 1.6 meters per second squared. They did ask for the magnitude there, so they don't need the negative sign, that's why it is a positive 1.6. There you go.